What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be going over every single Funko Pop I have in my collection. So let's hop right into it. Starting off with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm in a majority of the cast except for Amy Jo Johnson who played the Pink Ranger. And I'll never get to meet the original Yellow Ranger because she passed away in early 2000. I was just a kid at the time. So unfortunately, if she was still around, I definitely would have had her sign one of my Yellow Ranger Funko Pops. But starting off... This is really cool. I've never seen an Alpha 5 Funko Pop signed before, so this might be the very first and only one. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I've never seen anyone with a signed Alpha 5 Funko Pop before. Um, I was very fortunate enough to meet Jason David Frank before he passed away last year. I met him on my birthday, which is May 30th. Um, however, he passed away, I want to say it was like late, like November. Sorry, someone's texting my phone. But he signed the side of this Funko Pop as well with this new signature that he was doing. It says Green Ranger on the side of the box. It says to Steve, Jason David Frank, Tommy. So I just gotta fix this lid real quick. There we go. So when I met Emmanuel, Walter Emmanuel Jones a couple weeks ago, I kind of cheated. I kind of wrote down on paper what I wanted on the Funko Pop to be signed. And it says, Steve, you ready? It's morphin' time. Got some photos together. It was fucking awesome. Excuse my French. Um, met David Yost. It's to Steve. He signed the top of the box as well. So that's the Green Ranger you saw already. Austin St. John. Just a couple of the uh, gem ones, which are pretty cool. Aisha signature, which is pretty cool. Another Walter Jones signature. Jason David Frank. Jason David Frank is assigned as well. And I like the way this looked, the pink and the white ranger together, because I remember seeing that as a kid when they're on the show. Um, but yeah, that's my entire Funko Pop collection for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There are many more Funko Pops to go, so don't miss out, but there are a lot more Power Ranger Pops, but I'm done right here because I don't need any more Power Ranger collection Funko Pops. This is just for fun, but Lord Draken, it's a pretty cool signature when I met him also. And I got photos with Jason David Frank too. So when I met him, we were holding, it was this Funko Pop when I was doing the Morphin Time pose. And the other two, I couldn't hold on me at the same time. So I had those in a backpack in the cases and these hard stack collector 10 things. But moving on, we're gonna start off with Dragon Ball Z slash Dragon Ball Super. This is over 10 years of collecting. I met Chris Sabat. He gave me a signed Funko Pop, took some photos with me. It was so cool. He noticed my Majin Vegeta that I brought with me was fake. And he's like, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna give you a free Funko Pop and sign it, take some photos with you. And that was just him being very generous. I didn't ask him for that. He just kindly did that out of his own heart. So very grateful for that. Thank you, Chris Sabat, if you ever get to watch this video. But right after I met Sean Schimmel, this was the very first Funko Pop I've ever gotten. I wanted it for my birthday one year. My mother purchased it for me and surprised me with it. Then after that, all the Funko Pops started coming out left and right. I brought this one also when I met Chris Sabat. And I think there was one more. No? Okay. So let's keep hopping over here. Again, this is 10 years of collecting, guys. So some of these I custom painted because I didn't want to pay for like this one, for example, $50 for the Loot Crate exclusive because of the hair color, the gi, kind of looking like the action figures from the 90s. So I did the hair and the eyebrows myself and it came out pretty good. The newest ones I just got, which I'll show you in a second, which is so far this Goku at Box Lunch. I was the first person in line, got three of them. Actually, no, I got two because they were running out like hotcakes because people were gouging them to flip online, so I took two. I don't want to be that guy that flips. The newest ones I also got were Shin, Super Saiyan Trunks, Jiren, and the new Goku Black variant. Oh, and uh, Kale, sorry. But, uh... It was a funny story with this wave of Funko Pops, with the Shin, the Super Saiyan Trunks, the Jiren, and the other two right here, Goku Black and Kale. Amazon, when they released the announcement for them, there were $13.50 each at the time. And then I got an email saying it got pushed back to back order, 
And then after it got pushed back to back order, they tried to charge me $20 a pop because they wanted to raise the pop prices. I called them, I complained. I'm like, no, I paid $13.50 and I can show you the statement I paid. And they were like, okay, we'll, we'll just charge you the $13.50 for, you know, those Funko Pops. So moving over here, at least Amazon's pretty good about that. Last part of my collection. This is My Hero Academia. I love My Hero Academia. One of my favorite animes right now, besides Dragon Ball of all time. And then the very last thing we got over here, Blink-182, because I saw it at work, and I thought, why the hell not? All right, guys, if you like this video, please comment, subscribe below. Have a great day.